Member for West Vancouver, Capilano. Uh, thank you, Mr. Speaker. Um, reviews are too late and actions are overdue. This minister continues to have the same answer regardless of what the question is. Of course we want to have children at the centre, but this is about a systemic failure in the child welfare system under this government. The independent representative for children and youth says what happened to Trayvon is a canary in the coal mine and that things are worse than ever. And I will quote her, we hear from youth living in group homes all the time, including where perpetrators of sexual abuse are housed with victims of sexual abuse. This is a system that continues to fail them. Can the minister tell the House why this system, after all the warnings and all the reports, why this system continues to fail these vulnerable children? Minister. Thank you, Honourable Speaker. And, uh, it is really important to make sure that the system serves our vulnerable children and youth. We know that children and youth who are in the care system have been traumatized uh, for some reason and we want to make sure that we put them at the center and we provide them with uh, trauma-informed, nurturing, caring support and help launch them into a successful future where they're able to thrive. We know that challenges with the um, in-care system have been building up over decades. Uh, this is something that I know that the representative for children and youth has worked on in, in prior roles that she's had, and so have I. Uh, and now we have made considerable improvements over the last uh, three years, and we are, we are undertaking a provincial transformation that will make a difference to the lives of children and youth because the, the, the um, home that they will be provided with, the care that they will be provided with, will actually be responsive to their needs. Um, and what we're doing is making sure that there are no new ag agencies added to the list of homes um, without the explicit approval of the Provincial Director of Child Welfare. We've taken steps and measures in terms of ensuring the quality in all of the homes that provide in-care services. And, uh, and we're also really working very hard on making sure that children and youth are able to stay within family, within community. So we've been increasing out-of-care placements, so um, where a significant action has been taken in relation to a child or youth. We've actually been able to go to their community and say, is there an auntie, is there a grandma, is there a friend of the family uh, who's able to take care of this young person while we build a safety plan? So we are uh, making a difference in the lives of children and youth. Thank you, Speaker.